Hey guys, this is Natalie and welcome back to my channel. And today I want to show you how to add outlines to your lettering using Adobe Fresco. So this is a tough one. I'm sure a lot of you guys love to add outlines to your lettering, especially using Procreate. But let me show you how it's done using Fresco. And this is my process for adding outlines to lettering. Okay, so let's jump right in. I'm going to open up Adobe Fresco on my iPad and I'll put it on the screen right now. Well, the first thing I'm going to go over is just an easy way to add outlines to your lettering. So Adobe Fresco has these cool brushes. If you go to the left side of the screen on this side over here, tap on this bottom one. These are the vector brushes. If you scroll down, there's an outline section and these are all the brushes that have an outline to it. So basically Fresco already knows that people want an outlined lettering. So they created brushes to create those outlined types of lettering. So you can choose from various different styles. There's just regular, a light, a medium, or heavy outline, some with taper, some with not a taper, and then the other side rounded, some with a taper, and then the other end is rounded. You have a jittery outline, you have a chisel tilt. So there's a bunch of options here. So for example, if we just go with the light outline here, we can tap on it, let me grab my brushes here, my brush settings panel. And if I go to the settings, I can go down and select shape and outline. And you can increase or decrease the thickness of your outline. So if I do that, I'll keep it at that thickness, maybe a little bit more. And then you can adjust the color. So this one's your outline color. The black is the outline. And then the white is the inline color. So we're going to go ahead. So I'll go ahead and start drawing. And it should look something like this. So there you go. It should look something like this. I'll go ahead and increase the size. And let's say, let me increase the size a bit more. And I want to increase my smoothing to about 70. Now I'll go ahead and write outline here. Now the thing to remember with this brush is if I lift my pen, it's going to immediately start a new stroke and not connect those lines. So I have to actually keep my brush on the tablet as I draw my letters. So even for this I, I'm not lifting it. And for the N, and for the E, see if I lift it and then I put it back on, you can see that's what happens. If that's the case, an easy way to just fix this is just to grab the eraser. Now I'll just erase this area here little by little. And then I'll fill in this with black and then I'll grab a white color and fill in this area. So it's not the best, but that's the way you can kind of move around it. The other way to do it is if I go back to my brushes and I want to draw in cursive, I want my cursive lettering to have an outline. I can do the same thing. Oops. You grab an outline and make sure my outline is black. So let me actually hide this layer and create a new layer above that. Now I'll write the word outline again, but this time in cursive. And again, I don't want to lift my pen because it'll start a new stroke. But you see, it's kind of hard to do cursive when you have to like cross the T. So the way I would do that again is I would grab the eraser and just erase this area. Very carefully, you can actually zoom in here. If you feel like you need to be more precise, I recommend grabbing the lasso tool and doing it this way. And then click on erase at the bottom. And then I can go ahead and fill it in with the color white. So that's another way of doing it. But let's say we don't want to use these brushes. I have some custom lettering that I want an outline with. So here is some lettering I have that I want to outline, but obviously I didn't use the outline brush. And if, even if I used the outline brush, it wouldn't give me the same, the same look. So it's kind of like a tricky situation. So the way I normally do it is I will normally just write out the word in an outline form first. So I wouldn't even fill any of the letters. What I would do is I would outline it first. I know that's kind of hard, especially when you're building and creating your letters. So if I go ahead and select the black and let's just grab a vector brush and we'll do a basic round, so it should look something like this. And I'll create a new layer above this lettering here, and I'll just trace it like this. If I had this lettering already created, I'd go ahead and trace my lettering. Just 
just like that and just kind of going through all of the letters it's kind of the long way to do it but this is the only way that you can actually do this in fresco unfortunately so any fresco people that are watching we would really like the feature of being able to outline our letters the way Procreate does it is it allows you to expand your selection, which I do like. So I'm going ahead and just tracing all of this. Doesn't have to be perfect. Unless you want it to be perfect. So unfortunately, when I need to outline my lettering, this is what I do when I have like a custom lettering style that I'm not using like a specific brush for. So just outlining, almost done here. but not least the E so that is my lettering outline if I just use a brush to outline it and that's a new layer if I hide my original design I can go ahead and select this layer here and then just add a fill let's pick you know maybe a gold color or a yellow color and we can fill it in so that's one way you can outline your lettering the other way that I'll, I'll do it sometimes in case like if I want it to be a little bit more rugged is let me go ahead and hide this layer here and we'll go ahead and turn on that white layer beneath that layer I'll create a new layer so I'll drag this new layer and bring it down below and then I'm going to grab the vector brush again and I want it to be the round brush and let's make sure that the color is black and let's increase our size maybe about 71.5 now if I want to add an outline this way I'll just go around the letters behind them if I want it to be I don't want it to be perfect kind of just give it a little bit of a jagged look I'll do it this way And just filling in these areas for the outline. I would just go in with the selection tools and just adjust some of this erase any parts that I feel like are jagged or I'd go in with my vector brush reduce the size and then just clean it up a bit And you see, obviously, it kind of takes some time to make sure everything's a little bit more or less the same. It's going to be a little bit more rugged. This is what I mean. Like, if I'm trying to give it this type of look with, like, kind of, like, not a super perfect outline, I'll do it this way. If I want it to be a little bit, if I want it to be a little bit more funky. So, yeah, those are the different ways you can add outlines to your lettering. So, remember, you can use the vector outline brushes that come with Adobe Fresco. You can start off by just creating lettering that has outline outlining on it. So let me turn this off. You can start off by just 
creating an outline of your letters without adding any fill, or you can just add the background to it like I did here. I just created a new layer beneath it, this one here, and I just, you know, added the outline manually that way. So those are different ways you can add outlines to your lettering. But yeah, if Adobe Fresco is watching this, I would recommend adding some sort of feature to maybe increase our selection. So the reason why I say this is because let's say I have this lettering selected. If I go to my selections tools and click on magic wand and I select all of my letters here, I would love it if Fresco gave me the option to expand our selection. And I know Photoshop does this which is why I think they could definitely add this into Fresco and then we can add an outline that way. And also if you guys are interested in this too, I would recommend sending a note to Adobe Fresco as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys like lettering, illustration, all things fun, vlogging from time to time, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. See you guys in the next video.